Close your eyes and take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Make up your mind you're going to stay here right now. You're not going to let the mind wander off. You just be with the breath all the way in, be with the breath all the way out. And see how long you can maintain that intention. One of the disconcerting things about just beginning the meditation is that how out of control your mind can be. You make up your mind you're going to be here and five seconds later you're someplace else. But to train the mind, you can't give in. You've got to keep coming back, coming back, coming back, reestablishing the mind with the breath, however many times it takes. And to make it easier, we try to make the breath comfortable. Ask yourself what kind of comfortable breath would feel good right now for the body. What would feel good for your chest? What would feel good for your stomach? What would feel good for your shoulders? You can go around the body making a survey each time you breathe in, breathe out. And do it especially for this part. Do it especially for that part. In other words, if you use your discernment, you find that you can make the work a lot easier. If you just try to use force of will, you can get some results, but after a while they begin to wear out. So you've got to use your discernment. Figure out some way that makes the mind want to stay here, gets it interested in staying here. Otherwise, it's like trying to control your child. If you control your child by locking him in a room, again, the child is going to rebel. It's going to find some way out. If it can't get out the window, it's going to break through the wall. But if you give the child some toys to play with, something really interesting to engage its attention. Then you can leave the windows open, the doors open, the child's not going to wander off. It's going to be happy to be there. And that's the same with your mind. Make it happy to be here. If nothing else, remind yourself that while you're here, the mind is not carrying any other burdens at all. It's not creating any trouble for itself. It's not creating any trouble for anybody else. That right there is a good, is a good thing. And if you engage it with uh, the breath, remember this breath here is what keeps you alive. And the quality of the breathing is going to have an impact on the body, it's going to have an impact on your mind. So you want to take good care of that. And you find as you get more interested in the meditation in the present moment, it's a lot easier to stay here. And you keep going from breath to breath to breath. You may drop it just for a second, but then you come right back. Another breath, 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 keep with it. And then you begin to realize the advantages of having the mind with a place to settle down. Because the quality of your awareness, the quality of your mood is going to change. If the mind isn't constantly having to jump around all the time. So give it this good place to stay. Give it an interesting place to stay. And you'll find that it, it's a lot more obedient and it's a lot more tame. A lot more likely to do what you actually wanted to do. <laughs>